Glucks Gym claims I can't make an interesting video about weight storage. I don't know how you make a video on plate trees interesting. I couldn't do it, but if you can somehow pull it off, I'll watch it. Good luck. Well, I told him to hold my beer. The No Fate Channel, checking in. Jonathan here with a head-to-head -head Thunderdome challenge for weight storage. Three contenders enter the pit. Who's gonna make it out alive? Contender one is the generic Amazon plate tree. For those of you who know that money doesn't grow on trees and budget is king. In this corner from Rep Fitness, we have the sleek samurai, but can it handle your max lifts? Rounding out the competition from Bells of Steel, the plate tree she told you not to worry about. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I review new pieces of home gym equipment every week. And I picked up this Bells of Steel plate tree because of you. You have all been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And as promised, all the proceeds go right back into the channel to create future content. Coming in at the most expensive of these three plate trees, this Bells of Steel retails for $300, but for good reason. It is a whopping 88 pounds and will hold 1,700 pounds of plates and four Olympic barbells. It does have a powder coat and is made out of 11 gauge steel. But wait, there's more. This plate tree has industrial lockable wheels allowing you to move this into and out of position and then lock it down as necessary. Now with or without those wheels, this is a taller plate tree allowing you more easier comfort when loading and unloading the plates if you're lazy like I am. And there is absolutely much more space between the actual rows. Everything about this plate tree just screams bigger. Compared to the competition, it has longer sleeves, it's got bigger bolts, and it has a bigger, wider footprint. Bells of Steel absolutely built a plate tree meant for a commercial gym or a college weight room. The only thing you need to be worried about is if you do happen to have low ceilings, the massive height of this plate tree may hinder the ability to load and unload barbells. The only fix or change I would ever make to this plate tree is frankly to have caps on the nuts and the bolts because I don't want to potentially scratch or damage plates when loading and unloading. Weighing in at 35 pounds, this Rep Fitness Play Tree retails for $169. It can hold 850 pounds worth of Olympic size plates and two barbells. I will tell you that it is going to be the Goldilocks zone for so many average home gym users. The additional supports on the base do make this thing extremely stable for its size. Also, the biggest claim to fame for me is this hard chrome sleeves that really hold up well over over time in terms of loading and unloading plates and they have these rubber grommets here allowing you to make sure to protect your plates if you had tend to slam them up against the plate tree. Woo! This Amazon plate tree retails for $80 and it is truly a dime a dozen. Since the day that I bought it, it has been nothing but trouble. It has never sat flat, not once. It is made from the cheapest metal you could imagine and it claims to be able to hold 850 pounds. That's most likely a lie. I put a few plates on here initially and the thing wobbled so much I didn't feel safe with it. I ended up going out getting additional hardware and metal supports, drilling a bunch of holes to add extra stability to this thing and I still don't trust it all that much. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union where I tell you which of these plate trees is going to have a coveted spot in my home gym and which of them are gonna be hitting the bricks, pal. This Amazon absolute piece of crap is going to be hitting Facebook Marketplace as soon as I stop the recording. I will tell you that if you have the money for either of these two, you certainly should spend the money because you're going to regret this from day one. For those of you that are on a budget, I get it. I understand. I've been there. Make sure you buy this used, whether it's off Facebook Marketplace or Amazon. In fact, Amazon does sell a lot of used stuff at a discount. I would say that you're not going to be happy with it, whether you buy it used or new, but you'll feel a little bit better having not paid nearly as much money. Those of you with the garage gym will most likely be gravitated to this absolute 
unit. Not only does it have the extra plate storage, but it does have the barbell storage as well. And the ability to move this thing around is gonna come in more handy in a garage gym where I feel people are moving equipment around far more often than they are in a basement gym. Staying down here in my basement home gym is gonna be the Sleek Samurai from Rep Fitness. The 850 pound weight capacity along with the extra stabilization in terms of the design is perfect for my needs. And frankly, the wheels are not a deal breaker because for me, it's gonna be set it and forget it. The fact that it has a smaller footprint is a bonus for me because down here, space is at an absolute premium. Home gym storage should never be taken for granted. The space in your home gym is like real estate. God ain't making any more of it. So you want to get precisely what's going to be best for your home gym and going to suit your needs both today as well as your future home gym expansions. Clearly Gluck's gym is wrong about this fire video. Let me know in the comments below what you are using for plate storage and give the video a like to let Gluck know how videos should be made. If you made it this far in the video, we are now officially best friends, Tango and Cash, Mario and Luigi, the Liver King and HGH. Thanks for watching and as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.